guess the cheers and the flags, the amount of people that are here tonight, that says it all, doesn't it? How long have you been dreaming about this moment for Super Rugby Champions? Yeah, uh, kia ora na, maloi lele, pulu vinaka, namaste, konnichiwa, maloi soi fua mau, mai langi mama. Uh, greetings to everyone here. Um, it's a pretty surreal feeling. Uh, and to have a full Eden Park like this, uh, it, it brought us home. Um, something we were looking for for a long time and uh, I don't know, we just got to enjoy it and I think I'm just in awe of what the boys have done. Uh, it's been building for a while and there's a lot of hard work that's been going on uh, in behind the scenes from coaches, management, players and uh, even the players who've been called in uh, week in, week out for us to help us prepare. So it's a full team effort and uh, I'm really happy. I'm really stoked. I'll tell you what, that was an intense game to watch. One of the most intense games I've seen, especially sitting up there and watching it with a lot of your former two uh, Blues teammates, James Parsons, Sir John Kerwin as well. They were on the edge of their seats. But what did it feel like being out there, especially in those final five minutes? Uh, best way I can explain it is probably, uh, it was almost like an out-of-body experience. Um, you're there, but uh, I think the hype and uh, the... The joy and excitement of the whole week's just been building and uh, when it comes down to those last minutes, you've got to trust your instinct and I think that's what we all did. Your team wanted to see blue everywhere. The Harbour Bridge was lit up in blue, the Sky Tower was in blue and Eden Park has turned up blue today. That must feel pretty bloody good. Yeah, uh, no words for that. I just want to thank all the fans who have been supporting us uh, right through the get, right from the get-go. Um, <laughs> <we've been, yeah. laughs> It's been awesome to see the turnout and, and the support that we've been getting uh, over the last couple of years. And uh, I know one thing for sure that uh, this is home. Well, thank you so much, Paddy. The formalities are now done. It's now time to celebrate with your side. We'll get the rest of the team up here. But Johnny, you'll now do the honours and present the Sky Super Rugby Trans Tasman Trophy to your 2021 champions, the Blues. trophy it's what it means to the city that's what it's all about right there it may look small but when you've waited so long Sir John Kerwin to get that sort of success and you've gone through all of the emotions today because we witnessed it first down basically Chelsea but for you special moment for a team that's worked very hard yeah worked really really hard you know I was pacing up and down I don't know how Leon got through the sort of last 20 minutes there was a momentum shift just after half time, got to take your hat off to the Highlanders. They were unbelievable, 100 and whatever tackles. But at the end of the day, this is what this Blues team need to do. There's a lot of young players in there, and some of them now, mates here, have experienced winning. They know what it takes. Patrick, outstanding. And we are just ecstatic here. Sorry, Goldie. Well, congratulations to Batesy. He's yeah, part exactly. of the coaching staff. Well exactly. done, mate. I mean, you celebrated more than any any one of us. Your fists were pumping, you're jumping up and down. I would have never seen you so excited. But it's huge, right? It's huge for this group of young men. I'd hate to be Leon, to be honest. I'm not nowhere near as involved in, as a, someone like Leon or Tom or Dan or Tana. But, but I, I wore a lot of emotion tonight. 
and I'm absolutely wrapped for the guys. So the amount of work that they've put in, and every team puts work in, but they, these guys have had a lot of doubters, and um, they're a really good bunch of blokes, and I'm just happy that I've been part of them, to be honest. When you think about where they were at, when they got themselves in a position where they were down with 20 minutes to go, they needed something to shift. They needed a change, Chelsea. This is a launching pad. You think what's coming next year, Bowden Barrett's coming, Roger Tuovasa-Shek. This is a great starting point for this franchise. Yeah, well, um, Serge AK said it. There were, there were momentum shifts there. There were about three Massive. momentum shifts within 10 minutes. Um, it could have gone either way, but the Blues boys, they dug deep. They really did. They, they turned to their leaders again. Um, and, it, and it took four minutes before the 80th minute for them to score to, to win the game, basically. And we were down here sideline when that happened, and the atmosphere here was just unreal. I mean, I mean, these guys, they've been pacing behind me all night, but to feel it from the crowd, it does really show what it means to everyone here, what it means to the team, what it means to the city. It, it was unreal.